There are some truly great fashion trends heading our way next year, and in this video, I'm covering off the best of them. Hi, I'm Leonie, and welcome to my channel. I spent years editing New Zealand's top selling fashion magazine, and when I finished that, I decided to start a YouTube channel so that I could share some of my fashion knowledge with you and also to make fashion a little bit more fun. So think of this channel as your shortcut to style. Now today I'm talking about 10 of the most wearable fashion trends that we can expect to see next year. Now one of the reasons I think it's really important to cover off some of these trends and cover them off early is to give you a little bit of a jump start on what you can expect to see. I also get lots of questions about whether particular items are going to be around for long or what you should hold on to. So videos like this really give you a bit of a head start so that you know not to get rid of key pieces in your wardrobe. And if you're thinking about investing in a particular piece, you know that you're going to get that cost per wear because they are items that will be in fashion and on trend and look good for at least another year. So if you would like to see what those trends are, then Grab yourself a cup of coffee. I have got my favorite new coffee addiction from Jarvi Coffee. I've also got a discount code to share with you and I'll tell you a little bit about that shortly. But grab yourself a cup of coffee and buckle in because we have 10 amazing trends to talk about. Now this first one is probably my favorite and that is cargo pants, but wait. Hold on and hear me out because as you probably know, cargo pants are trending at the moment. We are seeing a real return to their popularity, but next year they're kind of taking on a whole new look. So cargos are being turned out in all sorts of different fabrics and colorways. There's everything from white cargos, denim, black leather, pink boucle. I've even seen Hawaiian print cargo pants slinky, shiny, metallic-y fabrics, kind of more evening style cargoes. So there's kind of something for everyone. I particularly love cargoes because I think that they're just a really good foundation piece for a simple, smart, casual outfit. And sometimes those smart, casual outfits are the trickiest to put together. But choosing wisely with an interesting cargo pant will make it really easy to create lots of different looks. So if you are into cargo cargo pants, or perhaps even if you're not, maybe next year you will find a cargo to love. This next trend is a real goodie and it is knitwear that sparkles. And I think that what we tend to be looking for these days are classic pieces that are going to stand the test of time, but that doesn't mean that classic has to be boring. And that's where these metallic-y sparkly knits come in. They are really basic classic pieces, but they're just slightly elevated. And for that reason, I really love them. I've seen some really fine knits. I haven't seen a lot that are sort of chunky knits. So it's very much a fine knit with a little bit of a shine or a sparkle or a slight metallic edge to it. I think these pieces are super wearable because as I said, they're just an elevated classic. There's been so much talk and so much focus on color blocking this year, and that's also happening next year. And what I have specifically seen is pink and red color blocked together in individual pieces. And if you have been watching me here for a while, you'll know that I have a pink and red color blocked shirt every time I wear it here on the channel. I get lots of comments on it. So I'm really excited to see that this particular trend and this particular colorway is gaining momentum next year. Roberta Cavalli sent models down the runway wearing a beautiful, I'm thinking, a beautiful red coat with contrasting pink lapels. There definitely seems to be a lot of color blocking and the great thing about these pieces is the hard work is done for you. You put on the piece and you immediately look fashion forward and your outfit looks interesting. The piece that I own is a simple button down shirt. So it's a classic, it's a really simple piece but it's been made interesting and elevated by the color blocking. So pink and red if you haven't worn it before definitely give it a go. It's surprisingly flattering. It's not a color combo I would have ever thought to have worn personally, 
but it works and I love it. So next year it is gaining momentum. So if you see any color blocked pieces around, grab them. And at this point, I'd just like to say a really big thank you to the team at Javi Coffee for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, if you haven't heard of Javi before, they create these amazing little coffee concentrates. One of these tiny bottles makes 30 cups of coffee. Now I am a real coffee snob and I love Javi coffee. This is my favorite. In fact, it's a French vanilla. It is Oh, chef's kiss, absolutely delicious. Javi coffee is made from 100% natural Arabica beans and the purest of water. Once you open the little bottle, you need to actually refrigerate it and it can be used within four to six weeks. I've been making my morning coffee with the Javi concentrate and I also have started drinking iced coffees, which I am absolutely loving. All you need is a teaspoon of Javi coffee added to your milk or liquid of choice and it truly is that simple. Apart from it tasting absolutely delicious, one of the things that I love about the Javi Concentrate is that there's no mess, no fuss, no elaborate coffee machines, no percolating, no time wasted. It is quick and easy, which is right up my alley and it tastes amazing. If you love quality coffee as much as I do, then take advantage of the 25% discount code that I'm sharing with you today. So to do that, just simply use the link, which I will leave in my description box below, and my code is Style Insider. It couldn't be easier. Otherwise, you can go directly to Javi Coffee, and that is simply buy.javicoffee.com forward slash Style Insider, and go over there and take advantage of this really cool offer. But if you love Love delicious coffee without any of the fuss and hassle, then definitely give Javi a go. And a fun trend that is gaining momentum next year is dopamine dressing. And if you don't know what dopamine dressing is, it's basically just using color to dress yourself happy. Now this year we've seen a lot of bright Kelly green, bright orange, really vibrant, lovely, bright colors. And we can expect to see some of those colors repeating next year as well. Added into the mix next year is a cobalt blue. Citrus greens are kind of taking center stage a little bit more than the Kelly green. There's also some beautiful sunshine yellows. And in the Dior Resort Collection, models were sent down the runway in these beautiful, vibrant berry reds, which are exciting as well. So if you haven't thought about dopamine dressing or if you'd like to know a little bit more about it then I created a free book which you can download I will leave a link in the description box below it is called dopamine dressing what you need to know it's a simple read and just gives you a little bit of a head start on what dopamine dressing is and what colors work and how so check it out it's in my description box below and grab yourself a free copy of dopamine dressing from my point of view, dopamine dressing works and it works wonders. I'm someone that always wore blacks and neutral muted tones until fairly recently. And in the last couple of years, I've been dressing myself happy and it is a thing and it works. So check out my free ebook in the description box below and get amongst it. Another trend I'm really excited about seeing next year is the return of strapless tops. Now I know that we have seen a little bit of that look happening this year, but next year they are going all out. So we can expect to see all sorts of strapless tops. Now, if you are already thinking, no, it's not a look for you, sometimes you just need to sort of rethink some of these pieces. So strapless tops are a great layering piece and maybe they are a piece that you can wear under a lightweight cardi or a blazer. Don't just go into your changing room and try one on, stand there and go, no, I don't like it. Think about how you can incorporate it as a layering piece into your wardrobe. And of course, if you love strapless tops, they're great to be worn on their own as well. I particularly love them. My shoulders are my, are my favorite body part, so I quite like showing them off. 
but strapless tops are here in every kind of form next year. So I think sort of frilly, strapless tops with sleeves, boob tube type tops, there's very much a strapless thing happening. And I know some of you will be really happy to know that blazers are still very much blazing a trail. See what I did there? <laughs> blazing a trail next year. And what will be happening is that instead of them being so supersized, there's going to be more options for everyone from a little bit more sort of classic fit. There's blazers that are cropped that are starting to happen as well. So this year we've seen very much oversized man style blazers. That that will still be happening next year but we will be seeing some other options for blazers as well and they really are for me a classic staple wardrobe piece I don't move my blazers out I know that whatever the cut or style they will come back around so blazers are very much a look that is happening next year it's a classic timeless look especially if you find a blazer that works for your lifestyle and your body the color brown is also going to be enjoying a moment in the spotlight next year and for me I think brown is one of those well it's a neutral if you love wearing brown it's an easy color to incorporate into your wardrobe it's great for those basic pieces whether they be coats or pants I have an amazing brown dress which I absolutely love it's a real chocolatey brown I was almost going to say that brown is the new black next year but it's not because black is the new black we will be seeing quite a lot of black which is a little bit of a turnaround because in the last couple of years it's been about color and a lot of color now as I said earlier we'll still be seeing that color this year but we'll also be seeing a a lot of black and a lot of brown so if you're into your neutrals and you love wearing black pieces then next year is your time to shine if you've invested in some tailored trousers this year then you'll be pleased to know that they are still very much trending next year the only difference that I'm seeing is that the rise is going to be slightly lower. So this year has been all about high rise and really super high rise trousers, especially when it comes to sort of that tailored trouser look. What we can expect to see next year is that rise just coming down a little bit. So they're not they're not low rise, they're not low riders, but they are still tailored, good tailored loose fitting trousers with a slightly lower rise. Obviously if you invested in some high rise tailored trousers like I did, I'll still be wearing them. I suggest you do the same but it's really nice to know that those classic pieces of tailored trousers are still very much a happening look next year. Now Chloe, Prada, Acne Studios all sent their models down the resort runways wearing white tanks which I found really interesting because tank tops have been very much on trend for quite some time already and that trend is continuing on next year. Now if you're the sort of person that thinks you will never wear a white tank, maybe it's because you wouldn't wear them on their own but maybe rethink how you would wear and incorporate a white tank into your lineup. They're a great layering piece, perfect for adding a little bit more interest to an outfit and also giving some of the pieces that you currently own a little bit more versatility. So white tanks are here to stay and if you haven't thought about them before just rethink your white tank thoughts and think of them more as a great layering piece. Now last but not least is the return of biker styling in the way of biker jackets and biker boots. In fact one of the biggest trends next year which I'm not recommending is biker style suits. I'm not recommending them because I think that they just look a little bit too try hard and very much like you've just stepped off a motorbike. But elements of biker style I think work really well so moto style jackets, biker boots with some buckle and stud detailing these are pieces that are really timeless you will own for years and years and get lots of wear out of so it's really nice to see that they are back and enjoying some time in the spotlight and certainly for me I have a number of biker boots and pieces in this genre which I'll be able to pull out and get plenty of wear out of but 
biker styling is definitely where it's at. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'm sure you will love my recent video on 10 wearable fall fashion trends. And I will put a card here so you can check that out now. Mm -hmm.